Dracula called me a Philistine, whatever that meant. He had a more refined palate. He usually poured his bottle into a glass, and he never filled it to the brim. He swirled it around and gazed at it before he took small sips, swishing the blood in his mouth before swallowing. He'd usually say something like, oh, this one has delightful notes of the Rhine or some shit. Without reading the label on the bottle, he could tell you where the blood came from and the donor's heritage. He'd remark on their health conditions, the donor's general mood when the blood was drawn, and a variety of other worthless details that were lost on me as I chugged straight from the bottle. As such, given that I didn't appreciate the finer things, the bottles were marked with post-its. Those that Dracula was saving for special occasions had notes like, Don't you dare, written on them. He got a little creative with them. I grabbed one that was labeled with a note reading, This blood's for you. So long as I was full on the bottled stuff, I could resist the urge to bite every warm-blooded human I might encounter when out and about. If I got a real hankering for the fresh stuff, a homeless man named Leroy Jenkins lived in a park to the north and was always happy to let me take a sip in exchange for cash. He didn't give up the good stuff for cheap. Nothing short of a Benjamin Franklin did the trick. Thankfully, Dracula had more money than he could ever use, and he didn't mind spreading the wealth. Even so, I tried to avoid tapping Leroy as much as possible. The more I drank fresh blood, the more I wanted it. Better to stick to the bottled shit and maintain a semblance of civility than find myself on a bender, and likely soon thereafter, facing off with a hunter. I shoved my thumb into the cork twisted my wrist, and popped the bottle open. It was a nice little trick Dracula taught me. It took a few tries to master, and more than once I'd crumbled the cork and had to filter the blood through cheesecloth before I drank it. Now, though, I had it down to an art. I tipped the bottle back and chugged. What I really wanted was a keg. Our suppliers at Laveau's didn't offer that, though. They were as hoity-toity as Dracula. I wiped my mouth and belched. I was that kind of lady. It hit the spot, and a surge of energy came over me. The school had a playground out back with most of the equipment gone. I could have run circles around it. Instead, I changed my clothes. I was going astral for the night, mostly, I still needed to be prepared in case I had to get down and dirty with any hunters who might show up. Cargo pants, hiking boots, a tank top. I slipped the long sheath for my silver sword through my belt loops and put the blade into it. Hopefully I wouldn't need it, but I was preparing for the worst. <laughs>